Hey, it's Austin, and in this video you're going to learn about nine mind-blowingly useful websites that you probably didn't even know existed. So the very first website is copy.ai. Now, if you've heard about any of these AI writers before, or maybe you haven't, they're becoming really incredible. Basically, it uses artificial intelligence to write all kinds of copy for you, like blog articles, social media posts, etc. You can actually get started for free. Let's check this one out. So as you can see here on the left hand side, there's all of these different tools and templates that you're able to use. Uh, popular tools, you can write blog ideas, uh, bullet points for blog sections. Uh, let's see, they also have website copy, landing page, hero text. I've used a lot of the, uh, the social media tools in here. They're pretty cool, like Instagram, captions, carousel post, crazy YouTube ideas, hashtag generators. TikTok brainstorm topics. It's pretty incredible. So let's let's just make one real quick. Let's do this blog wizard. And so basically all you need to do is type in whatever the title of your blog is. And let's get a little meta here with how to use artificial intelligence to write blogs for you. The tone of it, you can set to whatever you want. Uh, let's go with professional. And then we're just gonna write some relevant keywords in here as well. Uh, use And we'll just start with that. And then all you need to do is click on generate outline here. And it's gonna do its little thing. And it's gonna give you some initial points of interest here. Uh, you can say you like this one. And then you can click generate talking points here. And now it's going to give you this initial outline of each of these uh, sections or paragraph sections, for instance and you can do generate more and you can basically just use this endlessly to create unlimited content for you it's pretty amazing the next incredibly useful website here is tinywow.com and basically if you have a pdf or any sort of online file that you want to change it has all of these free tools uh, to do so it, it's basically endless here so if you wanted to uh, remove the background from something you can just easily drag uh, an image in here and it'll automatically remove the background. You can merge PDFs. You can, uh, this is really coming uh, in handy if you want to change like a file type, like if you have a, a PNG file and you want to compress the size to a JPEG file, or uh, this is a popular one here, WebP to JPEG. So if you're downloading an image online and uh, you want to use it for, for like a YouTube thumbnail or something like that. And a lot of them don't support WebP. You can just use this tool and it's, it's as simple as just dragging the, the WebP file in here and it'll automatically convert that for you. Now they even have this organized here so you can sort all of these individual PDF tools all of these individual image tools, video tools, so you can change the file type of all of your videos, other file types here, and uh, all sorts of other tools like Meme Maker. Let's check that out real quick. Oh my goodness, you can make your own memes. This is super cool. I love this website. It's entirely free. Definitely recommend checking this out and incorporating it in your toolbox. So myheritage.com has this pretty powerful website. This is not marketing related, but I discovered this one recently and it, it kind of brought me to tears a little bit. So basically you can add in an old photo and it'll, it'll do a little bit of animation. Um, and it, it uses machine learning to do so, but honestly, it's, it's pretty breathtaking. So for instance, my, my grandmother passed away. I have some of these beautiful photos. So basically all you need to do is drag in any photo that you want. Uh, this is a photo of my, my grandma, rest in peace. And once it's done loading here, uh, you can choose whichever face that you want. So they're kind of animating me. You can just select which face that you want and it does its magic. And then just like that, it sort of brings your loved one back to life. It's pretty amazing technology and it's cool to play around with and it's, in, it's completely free. FakeU.com is this really cool text-to-speech tool that's free to use, but there's a lot of these out there, but this one is really fun because <laughs> there's a lot of really popular creators in here. Uh, so like you can choose like celebrities like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Aquaman. There's just so many really fun ones in here. Let's see, what do we got here? I think Bam Margera. 
Barack Obama. So let's choose Barack Obama. And then let's just type something in here, like, um, <laughs> you know, something like this. You can type in literally anything that you want. Click on speak. And it's going to run its little thing here. And then you can just play it. I'm your captain now. This is my plane. <laughs> oh, here, this one might be better. Let's see. I'm your captain now. This is my plane. <laughs> it's, it's a little robotic, but it's pretty fun. There's tons of options in here. You can play around with it. And then I believe you can, yeah, you can just download them right here and you can use them in whatever you have going on online. Really fun uh, little tool. You can also clone your voice on here too. Uh, they have this, looks like there is a cost to that. I have not tried this, uh, but I do use the, uh, the celebrity one uh, quite a lot for some fun videos and whatnot. Answers.com is a really helpful tool if you're in school at all, you're in high school, middle school, college, uh, whatever, or you're just learning about something. Uh, you can ask any sort of question in here and it gives you detailed answers. So if we want to look at math questions, for instance, uh, you can even sort this by uh, whatever class that you're in. So if you're in calculus and there's a lot of existing questions in here already and you'll see which ones have answers to them. Um, but basically you can search for something, you can type a question in and it'll give you a detailed breakdown of that answer. So if we just click on this one here, it will actually, it'll actually give you all of this information so you can study the flashcards on them. And I think I saw on some of them, they give you detailed breakdowns of how to get to that point. So let's see if we can find one of those real quick. What is the derivative of one X cubed? So here's an example. So it actually breaks it down step by step for you, which is incredibly useful here. And again, they have these in all sorts of topics like business as well, finance oriented questions, accounting questions. Axiom.ai is one of the most useful websites I've probably ever come across. It basically lets you automate anything. Uh, so it's similar to Zapier.com if you've, if you've used or come across Zapier, but there's a lot of different things that it's able to do. And it does everything right in your browser as well. So we can, um, open all your web apps with a single click. You can DM Instagram users and like their newest posts. Uh, you can send tweets from a Google Sheet so you can automate your Twitter growth. You can extract data from PooCoin, whatever the heck that means. There are just so many different tools that you can do on here. And it's relatively cheap to start $15 per month. I guess they, this one doesn't have a free extension, but there are Let's see, roadmap. There's just so many cool things that this website can do. And I think they even, here, let's see, video guides. Yeah, so they even have tutorials for all of these different things to teach you how to set it up, you know, how to batch uh, bot runs, how to use Zapier or Zapier with Axiom.ai. That's cool. I didn't know they actually linked together. Very cool. Love this website though. I've tested it out a couple times. Yeah, okay. So you can actually get started for free. I guess they have a, a browser extension tool that lets you sample it before you actually uh, decide if you want to buy it or not. Alternative2.net is such an incredible website. One of my all-time favorites. As the name implies, it just lets you find alternative websites to whatever you're using and free alternatives as well. So if you don't want to pay for Photoshop, for instance, you can click on that and you can sort this. So off the bat, it's going to show you all of these alternatives here, uh, but you can click on the free filter here and it's actually going to show you all of the free alternatives to Photoshop. There are so many out there. Photopea is, is my favorite one. Uh, this will be a bonus website. Uh, for anybody that's still paying attention here, not included in the uh, the nine that was promised in this, but photopia.com is like a free in-browser version of Photoshop. Uh, you can even edit the same files in here. It has a lot of the same uh, tools and uh, you can just do everything here. It's super cool. Didn't mean to distract there, but yeah, alternative2.net is awesome. Uh, you can type something in here. So like if we did, you know, after Adobe After Effects, and if you want free versions of this, 
it will show you all of the free alternative versions to Adobe After Effects. I have used this tool to find free video editors, free photo editors, free music platforms, free streaming platforms uh, for movies, alternatives to YouTube if you want it. Like, uh, there's just so many alternatives to Minecraft. Uh, if you're a Minecraft player, there's just so such a robust list of websites and tools and products that you can check out. Let's see, there's 105,000 apps on here. Uh, that's going to basically do, it's going to find you anything that you want uh, to use. Jotform.com is by far the most powerful form fill tool that I found online. Uh, there are like thousands of forms. Uh, for basically capturing data for anything that you want. You can use it to create PDF templates. Uh, you can use it to um, generate leads, like email leads for your eBooks or uh, anything that you want. I've used it with a couple clients for medical forms online as well, because it is a HIPAA compliant platform, which is really important if you're in the medical space um, or any sort of uh, privacy. It has the whole back end is automated as well. So you can actually, and there's tons of integrations as well, which is awesome. Uh, but basically you can set it up to when you have the form created, wherever it's published, it will automatically send you uh, an email with all of the form information on it. And you can download it right from there. There's tons of integrations. So like MailChimp, for instance, you could have somebody fill out the form with their email address that would automatically get uh, added to your email list on MailChimp. And then you can set up a automated email drip campaign uh, Etc. You can link it to any sort of CRM that you have. I know that we've used this with Zoho uh, CRM in the past. Uh, tons of storage devices, payment things that you can add to it. On the products side here, there's tons of, I haven't used a lot of these to be honest, but uh, smart PDF forms. Uh, there's apparently a store builder. Yeah, like I said, HIPAA compliant forms. Uh, this is just by far the best website to create forms and you can get started for free. There's a lot of free templates on here. Highly, highly recommend this tool. Cleanup.pictures is a really fun website as well where you can remove individual objects from your image if there's like a trash can in the background or you get photobombed by somebody. Uh, it's a completely free tool to use. You can also use this on your phone or the website. And let's just show you a quick example here. So if I drag in this photo of uh, baby me uh, with my grandparents and say I want to get rid of these things on the walls, uh, all I have to do is just kind of highlight over them. And just like magic, it automatically removes them. Looks like it gave them a little bit of a haircut there. Uh, but you can actually uh, change the brush size of it. So it's a little bit of a smaller brush uh, or a big brush <laughs> to, to clear up the entire thing. Um, but this is a really cool uh, way to remove any individual items uh, from the background. You can zoom in and out of the photos to give you that exact precision. And then you can just easily download this. This is a completely free tool. I love this. Uh, even if you don't have... You, like I have the Google Pixel phone, so I, I kind of have it in my phone built in, but sometimes you just have photos on your computer or I think iPhones don't have the remove uh, item tool. So this is great for all you iPhone users out there. I hope you found all these websites useful. Let me know in the comments which one is new to you or if you're using any of these before. And if you'd like expanded tutorial or knowledge on any of them, just let me know as well and I might do a full on tutorial for you. If you did enjoy this video, hit that subscribe button notification if you're not already, because I'm gonna be putting out tons of more videos on useful websites. And speaking of that, I have two other videos right here that I think would be really helpful for you. They're relevant, it's other useful websites and tips. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.